of some materials. So first I took two cups and I'm gonna fill them. So for checking the hygroscopic nature I took wool and cotton. Now I'm gonna dip them in water to check which absorbs more water. We can clearly see that wool, uh, wool absorbs more water than cotton. This is because it absorbs 30% of its own. So what is hygroscopic nature? For example when the atmosphere is more humid we can absorb in substances like salt and sugar that they clump together and get more sticky. This is because they absorb the moisture and water from the atmosphere. So basically hygroscopic nature refers to the ability of a substance to absorb and hold water and moisture from the atmosphere. Thank you. Fire resistance property of wool. We mostly see firefighters wear woolen uniforms and we also use woolen blankets to stop small fires. But why only wool? Because wool doesn't catch fire easily. Even if it catches fire easily, it burns slowly. But whereas synthetic fibers, they catch fire easily and they melt. This is because of the hygroscopic property of the wool. So let's understand this with a small example. So here I took a small candle, a glass and I'm going to lit the candle up. And you can see I lit up the candle and it's working properly. But when I close it, it will slowly put off. It will light uh, till, the, till it uses all the oxygen present. Then it will put off. You can see. In the same way, firefighters use woolen blankets, wraps the body which catches fire, the oxygen supply will cut off due to the blanket and the fire supply will put off. Thank you. Well, I'm here to explain the topic of luster and strength. Can somebody tell me which fabric do we use on special occasions? And why do we use silk fabric on special occasions? What is luster? As you people said, now we use lustrous clothes on special occasions and this cloth is also lustrous as it's shining. Now, let's see an experiment on this fi fiber. This is cotton fiber and this is not strong. We cannot, we can break this cloth easily. As you can observe here, it broke easily. And this is silk, fi silk fiber. This is lustrous and it is, it is known for its strength and it cannot be broken easily. As you can see, I'm not able to break this. Now, I'm going to explain you how different fabrics react for fire, like cotton, wool, silk and polyester. First, let's know about the fibers. Cotton. Cotton is a natural fiber. It is obtained from cotton plant. You know, China is, in 2022 and 2023, China is the largest producer of cotton. When we burn cotton, it, it turns into ash and it smells like burning of paper because both of cotton and paper are obtained from plants. When we take the fabric near fire, it, it catches fire easily and turns into ash and, to, it, and it turns into black ash as you can see here. Now let's see wool. Wool is a natural fi fiber. It is, it is not obtained from plants like cotton but it is obtained from animals like sheep, goat, bacteria, camel and rabbits. Now let's see what will happen when we burn wool. When we take the wool fabric near the fire, it it turns, it, it will burn and it will turn into black, black brown ball, like black beer ball structure and it can be crushed easily as you can see here. Now let's say about silk. Silk. Silk is a natural fiber. It is made from cocoons of silk worms. And there are four types of silks. Muga silk, eddy silk, mulberry silk and pasta silk. When we burn silk, when we burn... When we burn polyester, the smell is not really good for our environment and health. Thank you. Now, which, which are the fire resistance 
of natural fibers and synthetic fibers. Now I'm going to explain about synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers are man-made or artificial fibers made by the processing of chemical substances, mainly by petrochemicals. For example, they are nylon, polyester, armpit, etc. So let us know about the types of synthetic fibers. It is made by the cold water and air. It is elastic, very lustrous, and it is easy to wash and dries quickly and retains to its shape. Polyester. Polyester is a is, is one of the most popular man-made man-made fibers. So it is it is a repeating of unit of a chemical called ester. It is widely used to make cords. So the conclusion of this synthetic fibers is which, so natural fiber. Even though these synthetic fibers are polluting the environment, we are losing them because they are, they are cheaper as than the natural fibers.